Well, Dwarf Review is a chrome mine. We started operation in 2003, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And from then on, the production increased. At that stage, we were a contractor mine. Contractors did the mining for Dwarf Review Mine. In 2009, we became a mine operated mine where all the employees that were working on the mine were belonging to the mine. So the contractor moved out and the mining moved over to Dwarf Review in itself. I started in uh, Dwarf Revere Mine in 2008 as the training officer on the engineering side. And then uh, yeah, I became training superintendent in 2015. We moved away from the rock drill operators that was installing the roof bolts by hand. And then we, the mine decided to purchase roof bolter machines uh, to take over the place of the rock drill operators. We did not have a simulator at that stage. We made use of a machine that was practically in the training center, which we utilized to train the people on. But it, is, it really is a big gamble to train people on a six million rand machine. So then what we decided is that there is a specific need for a, for a roof bolter simulator. Previously, without the simulator, we had hands-on training. So we had to go through a lot of um, people that have stress about climbing into the machine and just start operating it on the ground, especially on the training side. So since we had the simulator, before we even go on the ground, I can make an operator operate inside the simulator and then when he goes on the ground, he's so much more comfortable with in the environment that he is. Once he's inside the cab, then I'll start explaining him, okay, listen, we're gonna do a pre-assessment now. So don't be scared, he must just carry on the way he does it. Then I can see all his mistakes that he's making on the ground, if, if he's working unsafe, or is he just messing around, or he's gonna mess up production. Then I can see it through watching the screen and also through the reports. And after that, um, I'll introduce him to all his reports that, I've that the uh, simulator has taken, and then we will start working on all the mistakes that he's been doing. So that means you start all over on the scenarios with coaching. The first thing that we've done was is to look at the total operation of the simulator. We looked at uh, how are we going to incorporate that with the, with the learning material that's being offered to cover the knowledge component. Then what we've done is, is I did some research and I found out that it is better to train the adult skills prior to training in knowledge. That in itself reduced the training time tremendously. Up to a third of the time, the time that a person stay in training, we reduced that training period by two thirds. Uh, 5DT offered us more than what we expected. 5DT gave us the best possible price, better than all the comp competitors. Uh, the turnaround time is quick and you get a much better operator at the end of the day, which knows all the components and everything without being able to cover the manuals. I definitely feel there's a role for simulators to play in the industry. I also feel that there's a definite need uh, for simulators on the mine.